Let's take an overview look at Tube Saturator 2 from WaveArt. It's an accurate digital simulation of a dual triode tube preamp with a three band EQ. It can be used to add a touch of analog warmth to a mix, driven into heavy distortion, typically on guitars, drums or synths, or any distortion stage between those two extremes. Let's take a look. Along the top, we have the plugin management toolbar. Bypass does just that, switching the effect off. Undo reverses the last control change. Copy will copy the current parameters to the unused buffer. The current buffer in use is indicated by and selected with the AB buttons. The current in use buffer is lit. These can be used to switch between two different settings instantly to compare effect. Presets can be stepped through using the arrows at either end of the preset display. The current preset name is displayed in the center. An asterisk beside the name indicates a preset has been tweaked but not saved. Click on the preset button to display the preset menu. Here, the factory shipped or user presets can be chosen as well as saved. Factory presets cannot be deleted, but user presets can be by holding down the shift key and selecting the preset you wish to delete. All can be deleted at once using the reset button at the bottom of the menu. Import and export can be used to read and write presets to disk. Import will convert presets from previous versions so they can be used in this one. The tools menu can be used to open the about box for details on the plugin, the user manual, as well as update checks and a link to the Waves Arts website. Obviously for the update and website and internet connections required. Beneath the toolbar are the main controls split into three sections. The saturation section has an on off switch. When on, the indicator in the top left corner is lit. Beneath that is a valve emulation selector for switching between the virtual tubes. Either the even harmonics of the high gain 12AX7 or the odd and even lower gain of the 12AU7. The actual amount of drive added is controlled using the large drive knob. The valve graphic will glow brighter as more drive is added. This is designed so that as drivers increase, the output levels are decreased, thus maintaining a rough constant level. Notice that the driven signal can be combined with the dry one should you wish, using a mix control over in the output section. The final output level can be tweaked here too. In the centre we find a 3 band EQ. This too has an on off switch and state indicator light. Although visually positioned after the saturation stage, its virtual position can be changed from pre where it processes the signal going into the saturation stage to post, which processes the signal once through the saturation stage. The EQ itself features a low shelf filter labeled bass with a corner frequency of 100 Hz, a parametric mid-range filter set at 800 Hz and a Q setting of 0.2, as well as a high shelf filter labeled treble with a corner frequency of 1 kHz. All three have up to 12 decibels of cut or boost. The output section we've already looked at briefly but it also features an oversampling switch, which will process the EQ and saturation at twice your audio sampling rate to reduce aliasing distortion and increase the accuracy of the analog circuitry. And finally, the VU meter allows you to keep an eye on output levels. <laughs>